If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you just found your favorite Switch game in the Switch emulator and you're tired of playing with like your keyboard and mouse or let's just say a PlayStation controller and you're looking to do something else. Play the game the way it's intended to be played with a Joy-Con or let's just say a Switch Pro controller. Well, there's different drivers and software available to make these things work with your PC. I'm gonna go over one of my favorites, which is Better Joy. To get Better Joy, you can follow the link below to get to the website found right over here. So, they'll bring you up to the GitHub page, which is a fantastic place if you're looking for many different open source softwares, GitHub is the place to go. But Better Joy, we're currently on version 7.0, but what it does is it provides a driver so that way your Switch controllers will actually work with your PC to play Switch games on things like Yuzu, and um, I mean, there's many other ones as well, but uh, Yuzu is the one I've used myself in the past. But when you're on this main screen here, to get to the actual Better Joy download, we'll scroll down here until we get to the actual download section here, which will bring us to the releases tab. It'll bring us to the latest release, which in this situation is version 7.1. And we'll just download the Better Joy 7.1 zip in this situation. And once you've done that, which I've already done, so I'm not gonna do it again here, we'll open up our downloads folder. When we go under downloads, you'll see we have this Better Joy V7.1 folder. It'll probably be zipped, so you'll have to right click on it and choose extract all to get to the unzipped folder at this point. But then we're gonna have this menu of different items here. The main thing we have to do is exactly what this says here, which we're gonna have to install the drivers from the drivers folder. So if we open that up, you're gonna see there's two different options for us to download here. There is a readme file if you wanna open that up here too. Um, it'll give you options to download the latest release of the drivers if yours isn't currently working with the newest Joy-Con updates. Then you can go to this website, download the newest drivers, and it should work a little bit better for you. But just know that um, there's some other options like the HID Guardian, which you can read about that. It's more for like Switch Pro controllers or if you're connecting multiple controllers. I haven't tried that yet myself. But there's gonna be two different versions of this. We have the X64 and X86 versions of the software. If you don't know which your computer is, an easy way to check it is just to go under your settings here, go under system, go under about, and then you'll see here, I'm running on a 64-bit operating system, X64. So I'm gonna be downloading the X64 version of this. Is If yours is the X86 instead, of course, just download that. And I'm gonna say 99% of the time, you're probably gonna be downloading the 64-bit. But just double click on this. It'll give you a quick prompt to download, save it to your usual spot, save it to downloads, whatever works best for you. But then that should download the drivers to actually get back in to Better Joy. So from there, we can come back to this menu here, which has the Better Joy for CEMU.exe file. So if we double click on that, it's gonna bring up Better Joy for CEMU, which is our software we're gonna use to actually connect our Joy-Cons to the PC. So to do just that, first of all, we're gonna need a PC that has Bluetooth capabilities. To figure out whether or not your PC actually has Bluetooth capabilities, we can go under the settings again, we'll open up devices here, and under Bluetooth and other devices, you should see this option to add a Bluetooth or other device. If you don't, your computer probably doesn't have Bluetooth built in. Not every desktop computer has it. Most laptops do, but if yours doesn't, you can always just buy a Bluetooth adapter, a nice little $30 option where you can just plug it right into your computer and it gives you Bluetooth capabilities. From there, we will take our Joy-Con here and we'll click on the button here that says add Bluetooth or other device. I've already connected one of my Joy-Cons, so uh, you can see it does show here Joy-Con right is paired already. I'm gonna pair the left one here, so I'm gonna choose the Bluetooth option here. And then what we need to do is, on the Joy-Con itself, you're gonna see this little button right here. We're just gonna hold that down until it flashes back and forth a little bit here. You can see it's gonna go back and forth like that until eventually it pops up over here as an option, as an input. So I'll just click on that, I'll let it connect here. It's gonna say it's all ready to go. And boom, it falls in under my mouse, keyboard, and pens option on my computer there. If it doesn't, it means your drivers are probably outdated for what your controllers are actually showing. So in that situation, we just have to go back to the website I showed you earlier, pull it up and download the most latest driver there. So we do have the controller hooked up there and ready to go. If you ever wanna unhook the controller from your PC, all you have to do is just simply click the same button and it would disconnect it from your computer there. And it'll just show paired instead. If you wanna reconnect it again, 
just clicking any button should connect it right back to your computer again. So just any button on the controller, just like connecting it to your Switch, it's pretty easy. You don't really have to hit like the L and R button. It'll just connect to it right away. So from there, this is connected. It's gonna show up under Better Joy. You can see it's sideways, so it's picking it up as a single controller and not a double controller. If you did connect multiple of them, it should give you the option to use them together as like one controller or separately. If you want to map out your buttons to something different, let's just say you want to use your Joy-Cons for just playing a standard game, playing on Switch uh, or playing on Steam or any other computer game, you can always just use this as a typical X input controller too. I don't know why you would, there's many other options that are a little bit better. Uh, you know, PS4 controllers, Xbox controllers, a PC Pro controller. There's many other better options than a Joy-Con, but uh, teach their own. Some people love these things. I love them for Nintendo games specifically, but that's about it. Then what we need to do though, is now that this is connected to our computer and we have the software to actually run this, we need to go into Yuzu and actually just select the, con the controller itself. So if you are using Yu Yuzu, pull up whatever game you're gonna be playing, whatever, but then to actually connect this controller to the game, it should automatically just do it if your computer is set up correctly. But if you want to switch it, let's just say it's picking it up as a double controller and not a single controller. So it wants to play in handheld mode, let's just say for Pokemon Let's Go. We can go up here and choose, if I move this over to the side here, if you click on emulation here, we can choose configure, go down to controls, and now we can choose what orientation we want. So do I want the left Joy-Con, right Joy-Con, handheld, I want the left Joy-Con in this situation. That's what I have in my hand here. We can choose the left Joy-Con from this list here. It's gonna pick it up as red. I put on a different um, outside exterior on this. So it's not actually red, but it was red at one point there. And then if you hit apply, it will be picking it up. And you'll see it as I move this around too, you will see that this is moving as well. So it does pick up the different axes of the controller as well, which is pretty nice if you are playing a game that does require the use of those axle or uh, axis or tilt controls on the controller there. And then from there, you just connect it. I click any button, it's gonna pick that up as a button on my controller to use. And boom, I'm in playing Pokemon the way it's intended to be played in this situation with the handheld Joy-Con instead of holding it or playing on a PlayStation controller where you're trying to aim and everything like that with that. So it really depends on what type of game you're playing, especially if you're playing a game that requires lots of like movement and stuff like that. So let's just say some of the Mario, Mario games where you have to like shake this and stuff like that to get moving around. There's a great option to do it that way. And now with your Joy-Con connected, you already play these games the way they are intended to be played. Just like on a standard Nintendo Switch, maybe a little bit more glitchy than usual, don't get me wrong, but still pretty much the way they're intended to be played. But there are some troubleshooting steps you might have to do along the way. The most common one I've seen so far is your Joy-Con is always disconnecting. I think the problem with that most of the time is an outdated driver. So the way to update your driver is to actually get your Nintendo Switch itself, which if you don't have one, that's kind of a different problem itself. I don't know why I have a Joy-Con without a Switch, but if you have a Switch, it's gonna be the easiest way to update the drivers. So let me just flip over to my Switch screen here and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So to actually update the controller itself, we're gonna have to head over into the Switch. I'm gonna use a controller that's actually connected to my Switch so I can show you this and not my other controller. But once we head over to the Switch here, on the main screen, we're gonna go down to the system settings down here, scroll all the way down to where it says controllers and sensors. And there, if you scroll down, there's gonna be an option to do update controllers. So if your controller is actually attached to the switch, it's gonna be a little bit faster and a little bit easier to update. But if your controller isn't up to date and you click on this button, it will start updating the controllers one by one. If they are already up to date, it's gonna tell you just that they're already up to date. So in that situation, we have to look at something else. But if they aren't up to date, and it does get updated to the newest driver, it's gonna work much better with the Bluetooth and connectivity just throughout the entire gameplay. It should be disconnecting on you just from time to time. But if you've done this and you're still having issues like your Joy-Con isn't connecting to your computer or something like that, that's where we need to look at something else. And that's why I mentioned earlier, we might have to update the actual software itself. So let's say readme I pulled up earlier that kind of had this website here. So you'll see if I copy this and I go into whatever browser you choose, <clears throat> it's gonna pull up the Vigem bus. Not sure how that's actually said, but all you have to do is just download the latest release here. 
and then just pull up the exe file download it like usual open it up save it to wherever and it's going to pop up in your downloads folder something like this here so just run that exe file it's going to download the latest driver and then let's go back under the settings here go under your bluetooth devices usually your joy cons aren't going to be up here okay if it's not correct or correctly connected to your computer it's not going to pick it up as a keypad or a mouse or a pen or anything like that it's going to be down here under other devices so if that's the situation we have to find it under other devices just click on it and hit remove device just to remove it from the computer altogether once they're both removed from the computer just restart the computer bring it back up and try going through those steps again of adding a bluetooth device holding down the button on the side clicking the add device here and then select the device and it should connect a lot better the second time around if it doesn't there might be some other issues as well so not really sure what those might be and let me know in the comments below if that does happen to you i'll try to help you out the best i can there but really that's gonna do for today's video i'm just here today to show you how to use better joy to use your joy cons to play the switch games the way they were intended to be played and it should just make it a lot more fun for you if you don't like using the switch controllers of course you can always go back to your usual keyboard and mouse or your playstation controller whatever else you're using it's not gonna make a difference there but but just remember, there's always other options too. So if you're not happy with Better Joy, just do a quick Google search on other types of, you know, switch controller to PC adapters or anything like that. Maybe there's other options. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up on this video. And of course, hope you guys have a good night. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye and enjoy your games.